enjoying this happy Halloween. It's a special October 31st matchup in the NBA here on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. Comes in for Pau Gasol. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Turner. And it's Brooks in for Rose. So the Bulls five right now. Butler team to Dunleavy on the perimeter. Taj Gibson is out there with Miritich. And it's Brooks in at the one. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. Miritich, the screen. And Brooks, here we go. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Freak number one. He did miss many easy chances last year, and he made the most of the tough ones as well. What a fantastic percentage. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And they've been the more physical team, offensively seeking contact, looking to score in the lane and getting to the line. A big disparity in the free throws, and that's been a big boost to their offense. Wide open. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Now Brooks. Passes to Miritich. Butler in the corner. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. Six on the shot clock. Brooks with no one around. And he's good on the three ball. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Fred Hoiberg. What did you find out, DB? He said the player he'll be watching closely in this matchup is Thomas Robinson. He added, you have to respect the energy he brings to the game. That'll be the challenge for our bigs, is matching that energy and physicality. Guys, Robinson a guy with a growing skill set, but it's still that athleticism and hustle that's really his calling card. Back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Right side, Hardaway. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the first. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy that time. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Sinks the triple. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Really makes them a hard team to guard because they space you out so well. Move the ball. Stick it too much. And Hardaway gets it to go. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Looking at the last game for the Brooklyn Nets, it was a win against Dallas. And how about the accuracy that was on display from three-point range in that game? They were lethal. Yeah, splashing those threes as they did really allowed them to continuously deflate that crowd and keep them at bay. Boy, that was a nice road win for them, no doubt. Young in the corner. From past the arc. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist from Thaddeus Young. 11 points for Freak. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. It's the Bulls up by four. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment.
And Pau Gasol, after some great years and some difficult years, talks about now his newfound excitement playing with the Chicago Bulls. I think you'd have to say that Gasol's decision to go to Chicago Clark was great. He clearly gave it a lot of thought. It's hard to imagine him having made a better pick. You know, I agree. Not only is he happy, but so are his teammates. Ask Rose and Noah and Butler. Those guys love playing with him, and you can see how the change of scenery rejuvenated the big Spaniard, too. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And a closer look here at the hustle That's stats for Chicago. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Taking a look at the Bulls. At the four, it's Gasol with Noah at the five. Brooks out there with Rose. And it's Turner in at the three. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. The three-pointer, no good. Chicago leading by six. Turner with it. He had 10 points in the win against Philadelphia. And also, his assist total tells you about the job he did of keeping his head up and keeping his teammates in balls. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Hardaway against Rose. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And you can tell he's hungry because that's how you eat away <laughs> at a lead right there. Make some highlight reel plays and shake that defense up. Well, Greg, you're right. Not all two points are the same. Not when they come on a stuff like that one. Well, I like the craftiness in his game. I mean, he can distribute or he can attack the basket. Just like we saw right there. Feeds it to Lopez. Outside Hardaway. Back to Lopez. Cannot hit. So the Bulls will take it the other way. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. And really just ran away with that one. Just a convincing, dominating performance in every facet. Well, you expected them to have the advantage, but they didn't just win. They won this one big. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assist. Move the ball. Stick it and then Hardaway with the dunk. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out, almost like the one-two punch. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Mavericks had a huge game. He ended with 23 points and did his work from a pair of lines, hitting from both beyond the arc and from the charity stripe. This was the latest dominant performance from him and reminds you why he is such a nightmare for opposing coaches and why he's so much fun for us to watch, guys. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents <laughs> terrified. Yeah, I, I think they'll be a little afraid. <laughs> I mean, anybody who saw that game has to still be in awe of what he was able to do. Just absolutely dominant. Boy, I tell you, he was in such a rhythm and on a roll. He could have won that game all by himself. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Here's Bargnani. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Here's Rose. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Take a look at last year's leading shot blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Fifth best, Brooke Lopez. And shot block. And that effort and energy. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Thomas Robinson, he's checked in for Lopez. Young comes in for Bargnani. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Joe Johnson. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Rasul Butler. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Gasol, rejected by Young. 
Thomas Jefferson. He's covered by Rhodes. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why. I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. Derek Rose was the focus of the discussion, and he wants their offense to run through him. The coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? Thank you, Doris. A floater. Brooklyn with the rebound. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. A clear look for Hardaway. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. 17 points for Freak. Outside Gibson. To the middle. Here's Gasol. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And you know, that lead's only going to... We gotta be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts, rotate over and make your presence felt. Quit being so soft. Chance to check out Thaddeus Young, how he performed last season. He put up about 13 points a game last season, six rebounds and two assists, and, and some pretty good numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways to go, but I like what I'm seeing right now. And ladies check in for Paul Gasol. Hardaway passes to Young. Back to Hardaway. One oh six left in the second quarter. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Rose dishes to Miritich. To the paint. It's Butler that time on the assist for Miritich. And it's six points for Butler. Nets trail by six. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. Another one falls for Brooklyn. No matter what the score is, his attitude has been perfect. I love his disposition. He has stayed in attack mode. Rose kicks to Butler. From the baseline. And it's off the back rim. No good for Brooklyn. They've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Back to Hardaway. Six to shoot. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Young with no one around. And it's Brooklyn scoring again. You know, I think, Kevin, they took a bit of a chance there going to the double team, and that left another guy open out there. Miritich, a screen on Jack. Rose passes to Miritich. No good on the triple. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Bulls lead by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports.